Hey guys, and welcome back to another video by your host Fish and Jersey. Um, today is going. I'm going to do a quick video here, very very simple video, of how to tie a clinch knot, an improved clinch knot. Now, um, they're my preference for basically tying knots. I have two knots that I like a lot. It's the clinch knot and the Palomar knot. Basically, if your line is, this is my opinion, you don't have to do what I do, but if the line is thinner, I think it's easier to do a Palomar knot than a clinch knot because it won't fray the line as easily. But if your line is thicker, like for me, my standard with braid, I do Palomar and with like line under six pound test, I'll do a Palomar. But with line over, over eight, and heavier braid, like 50 pound braid, I will do a clinch knot. So let's with that, let's get into it. Um, what you're gonna need, um, I have 12 pound test um, fluorocarbon right here. Um, you're gonna need whatever it is you're tying your bait onto, your lure or your swivel. I always tie my lures up with swivels. Um, what you wanna do, you just thread the swivel. Very, very easy. Just right through the, right through the eye. See, just like that. And you're going to take it up, you're going to take about maybe this much line, right here. And then you're going to loop it um, around the line. This part, the tag end, that you came out, like, it's like this. You're going to take this part, and you're going to loop it around this um, probably about 10 to 12 times. Um, you can do it more than that, depends how big you want the knot is. You want a little one, it doesn't really matter. Um, but usually I do it 10 to 12 times. Now after you got that looped around, it looked just like this. Got it looped all around it. You need to take this part that you're looping it back through the eye, which is right there in between um, this wool, which what's holding it up. Just pull it right through. And then you can, if you want to, you can pull this part right back through here again, like that. Um, but really, I don't do that. I don't think it's necessary. So when you're done that, you just pull tight. And you cinch it down. Why do you mean cinch down? You take your um, nails and you just pull the knot down like that. Boom. And that's your clinch knot right there. And you cut the tag in. I like to leave with my tag in about maybe this long of a leader. It's about like an inch. And not a leader, like a not a leader, <laughs> like a tag in. You know what I mean, like a like a tag at the end of your line, just like that. I don't know why I said leader. Now that you guys that done, and you guys probably noticed, but I got lighting, so now this video isn't very dark. Um, but that's pretty much how you tie the clinch knot. Um, it's very, very uh, it's a good knot overall. I mean, I've had no problems with it whatsoever. Um, that's it. I mean, that's basically how you do it. So, I mean, if you found this enjoyable, leave a comment below. If you have any questions, also leave a comment below. If you like this video, leave a like. You click that little button, it's like this. That no, that means that you like the video. And please do subscribe to my channel. Um, uh, I do fishing videos, product reviews, and how-to videos. Um, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.